and get another one. <laughs> Unless you make conscious effort to sit down and learn. Hello, welcome. My name is Omeda. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I want to share with you the importance of engineering and mathematics uh, education. Engineering and mathematics education. Um, they say that uh, if you want to develop the mind of the people to reason and to think to solve problems, you must give them the ability uh, to analyze things and, and to critically look at issues and come out with a trend and with a format and with uh, uh, solutions. You know, so um, the, the, the kind of education that any people who are able to think to build structures, systems that are able you know, to build organizations that are able to solve problems of society. Uh, much of it would have to have some level of mathematics, high level mathematics and some level of engineering science kind of education. And so in any society that uh, that side of education is, uh, uh, is, is minimal, uh, that society will not be able to solve their problems, you know. And so if you look at any country that is able to lift, you know, where most of the, the decision makers have some level of uh, mathematics education, engineering education, science education, those people are able to sit down to look at their solution, uh, to look at their situations and come up with uh, solutions. Unfortunately, when many people go to school or when we were even growing up, you know, m most people were made to, <laughs> to believe that uh, math is difficult, engineering is difficult, science is difficult. You know, and even those who wanted to do science, they wanted to do science to become medical. You know, the head side, the biology side, it's not the mathematics side. I remember, uh, you know, Pukwari School, uh, with the two classes that were doing science, uh, our class, half was mathematics and half of biology. And the other class was full of biology because we've been made to believe that math is difficult. I think it's coming from those who introduce their, their kind of education uh, to us because they knew that the more you're able to to have a lot of people with science especially math physics chemistry engineering background you know and the more they are able to go to a higher level, uh, higher form of education the better for them to uh, come out with solutions you know the better they're able to uh, look at their raw materials and transform those raw materials into a uh, product that are able to help the society. The more they're able to create prosperity by building factories, businesses, industries, that kind of education is critical. So if anybody wanted you to be poor, then they will cover out an education system that will be very silent on high level mathematics, high level engineering, high level science, you know, high level chemistry, physics kind of education. On you know, the, the, the social sciences, the reading, the literature, you know, the political sciences. And, and really, if you look at Ghana or any part of Africa, that is the kind of education you see is very loud. You know, so the, most of the people in charge of our, of our economy are coming from the law kind of education. They, you know, they, they talk, but they are not able to sit down and structure anything and come up with solutions and build systems and structures. You know, when the system is not working, when any, any institution is not working, do we have people who can think through issues to, to come up with solutions? Mathematics is for reasoning. It's, it's able to develop your mind to come up with solutions. You know, engineering kind of courses are for that, especially when it's built on uh, the idea that the African uh, when it's built with the with the African uh, in mind, when it, when it's built with the African content in mind, the African culture, the African history, the African greatness, their, their own African science and mathematics and history and technology in mind, it's not the one that Europeans copied and uh, package repackaged it for us and said that they discovered everything. That that is not the kind of mathematics. That is not the kind of um, engineering that I'm talking of. I'm talking of the kind of engineering that will look through the ancient solutions that uh, our, our forebears were using. You know and upgrading them to solve our problems and even if you have to copy from the Chinese if you have to copy from the Europeans or the Indians it's not because we didn't create anything that kind of education that kind of training is what is highly needed in our country and so if your child is going to school even if they are doing literature and all the other courses I would say that maybe find a way to make sure that they do some part-time courses on high-level science high-level mathematics physics chemistry even if they don't want to go to university to do that at least there should be some level of that because 
for our country to develop we need a lot of those people somebody will say that ah, but we have producers some of them and they are not doing anything no it, i think that we should produce so many of them that out of them some of them will come and take critical positions you know but so long as our institutions are being run by the people who were just taught literature it will be very difficult for us to see structures that don't work, that don't work in our in our, in our, in our, in our economy structures that don't work you know even if you are talking of entrepreneurship for instance business the people who are able to build businesses i'm not talking of contractors i'm not talking of those who are giving government contract and all kind of figures and then they build the even if they don't do the work they are giving because of political connections they are giving a lot of contract and money and later you see them as big business people they have a, you know and they build banks and all kind of things that's not what i'm talking of somebody who is trying to build a business from from innovation build a business out of idea looking at what we need as a people and coming up with product with processes with solutions to meet the market those kind of people would have to be given this kind of training because for for you to sit down and create a system that has never been done it calls for a lot of deep thinking a lot of reasoning a lot of innovation innovative thinking a lot of critical thinking you know creation and that i say that the kind of education you've been giving from the jss from the sss from the university is key especially at the top uh, level higher education is key some people say that oh you don't need education to build business i agree but for you because there is something we call intellectual capacity intellectual there's something we call intellectual development and and if it's developed well it helps the whole country you know and we have to find a way to develop the minds of our people and I'm saying that one of the tools one of the tools to develop the mind of any people is uh, engineering is mathematics kind of education when you're doing complex assimilations or formulas those things open your mind when you are just reading they are training you to talk but when you have to have people to sit down and come up with solutions you need higher level of reasoning and uh, when people have this kind of education and they're giving the others they'll be able to create and build something that will move our society and i think that why africa is still struggling is because we've not been able to have a lot of these people in critical positions who we have developed you know a, a, a patriotic pan-african uh, leaders who can reason to solve problems leadership is about reasoning leadership is actually is about thinking it's providing the infrastructure where the best of your people uh, can be harnessed for your development and so if you are not having that kind of leadership as people say it means that we should look at the training and i'm saying that it is critical that we have that kind of education especially high level mathematics high level engineering kind of it's for solution it's for thinking it's for uh, coming up with structures it's coming up with systems you know because the, nothing is done especially when you put any group of people together nothing is able is solved until the people are able to build processes systems that run the society and they if they don't have the tools if you don't don't have the skills if they, if they don't have the materials to build their own systems then the ones that the others left which they design for their interests will be will be will be the ones that are still running and most of those things that are still running in our economy were not designed for our prosperity so you look at our laws they weren't designed for our prosperity you look at our institutions they don't run for the prosperity of the Kenya. if you look at uh, even the way we, we construct our roads the way we build our structures many of them <laughs> that's why you can you still see a lot of housing deficit even the, the way we engineer our finances you know we're just trying to run a lot of things as if we are in england or in some of these countries and yet their 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 financial setup is entirely different from what we have now and that's why you have now you have what they call bond and all kind of issues around it why because we are trying to run our financial structure or financial uh, systems as if we're in one of those countries and it's entirely not like that because in a country where you need a lot of factories why are people holding money and hoping that government will pay them a lot of interest when businesses don't have capital to expand when we don't have a lot of factories that are being built by Ghanaians, when we don't have a lot of processing plants that are being built by Ghanaians, when we don't have a lot of uh, retail outlets, wholesales, you know, that are being run by Ghanaians. How many, uh, even let's say supermarkets, are run by Ghanaians in multiple locations? How many Ghanaian supermarkets are in every regional or district capitals in our country? And yet we have a whole bunch of the educated pouring their money and buying treasury bills and bonds you know hoping that they don't have to do anything government will pay interest on them looking at the infrastructure looking at our economic structure if we continue to do that we will not be able to create any 
any industry and that's why we will not be able to have prosperity and even jobs for our people you know and so i'm saying that high level mathematical education and high level engineering education is critical because when people have been wrongly educated if you want to overcome any people just educate them wrongly take charge of the education system and you'll be able to overcome them you just have to have a way of educating them to be subservient and to only think of themselves and once they do that you have overcome them so they can become president they can become institutional heads and they will still not they will still be ill-equipped in terms of being able to design things that will move their countries forward you know and if the country is not moving forward it's because a lot of the people who are leading this are not thinking to solve problems and I'm saying that if you want to develop a people to think to solve problems then you must not be silent or minima on mathematics engineering kind of education because th that is the education that is developed that is developed to solve problems the others don't solve critical problems productive manufacturing processing problems systemic problems are solved by this kind of education and anybody who has worked with somebody with mathematics education or engineering education in, in any sector whether it's a Greek or finance or even in hospitals you will see that those kind of people are able to think faster and be able to solve problems uh, that are very complex to the others. Why? Because it is is that that course is designed for that. You're always solving problems. I remember when we were doing pure maths in Opoquari, or when we were doing engineering maths at Tech. You you are something is put there for you to solve. You are not analyze, you are not discussing. You are solving. You have to come up with a solution. And those principles in that exercise, uh, you know, are harnessed and and they we are even introduced to that. And once you go through those. Um, knowingly or unknowingly when you even go into doing business those things come in handy you become so much uh, skilled in every aspect of business why because your mind is fully at work so when it comes to your money when it comes to you trying to see what is not working when it comes to promptness when it comes to you structuring your even your force your production line uh, the sales up you know the targets and all those they come in handy because you are able to put one two three four together if somebody is weak in mathematics it's likely that they are not paying a lot of attention even our parents our grandparents who didn't go to school they may not be able to write one two three and the big formulas but when you ask them to put figures together in terms of money they're able to do that why because one way or the other they're able to reason to solve some of these problems you know and so if you don't have if you're very weak with mathematics it's very difficult and that's why maybe you can become a musician or you can become an entertainer they don't require a lot of <laughs> Things that they need to create to solve our problems you know entertainment is just when you are you know you just go and sit down and let people entertain you but when you want to solve critical problems you know when an economy is not moving you need thinkers you don't need entertainers when the economy is not moving you don't need football you need people who can sit down and say what is not working what do we have to shut down and what do we have to let uh, to go and so all over the world if you see Africans African Americans Africa you know all over people who look like us they are trying to front us with source people and entertainers and when it comes to critical issues we are silent and then we are complaining that we are not we are not developing and we are not coming up with innovative uh, product it's because we are silent on this kind of education you know on this kind of education so you have to it calls for deep thinkers to build infrastructure that that promotes or that 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 uh, stages any business any life any country for development you know so you cannot be you cannot be slow on that reasoning is critical decision quality decision making is critical for anything to work and I'm saying that you have to be equipped you have to be built uh, to make the right decisions you have to be built to think rightly and 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 this kind of education is imperative if you're going to raise a generation that will be able to uh, think and, and and not be so much susceptible uh, to deceit you know and shallowness then we have to promote uh, this kind of mathematics and engineering uh, education we need that and especially if you're able to put some of if you're able to add our content to it not because the other thing is that the kind of the one that we're giving much of it is based on european concept you know and europeans have never respected us and so if you are taught 
from their point of view when you're taught from their outlook uh, you start to also look down on your own people and so there has to be a balance where you have to go uh, deeper in history and look for science and engineering those that were handled the things that were produced by Africans you know not just that the things that were used uh, from the European position or the Chinese position but those that were done by Africans and built uh, on it and I wish our universities will start to combine us and for me Maybe 80% of our students should have high-level mathematics education in every course. If you're going to high-level uh, mathematics education, should be added to almost all the courses. They have to, even if they are learning cooking, or they are learning English, or they are learning, you know, and some of the courses that you see in our universities is oh, you are teaching people pure English, and there are so many. When they come out, what are they going to create with English? You are people, you're teaching people uh, French. When they come out, what are they going to create with it? You're teaching people social science and political science, <laughs> you know. So you just be looking for fun and entertainment and peace, you know. And maybe that is good. But if you want to develop a society, and and sometimes you go to some of you go to China for instance. Anytime you go, there's something new. They are building. The tools for building, you know, is mass. The tools for building is mass. And so when you, when people even have talent. You need some level of, say, let's say somebody is sewing clothes. If they are not able to pull out the tape and take the right measurements, they, they, they always, oh, you know, when, every time you go there, you see today they pass, tomorrow it will be weak. Why? Because there was something critical they didn't add to that, which is precision. And precision, the ability to be precise, comes from mathematical uh, training or mathematics training. The, the ability to be precise. And that's why when you send a lot of our boys to play football, you see, they, they have the gift, but they are not able to be precise in their decision making. Why? Because we muted that. We should have given them high level mathematics education. <laughs> and so you go to the construction site. The boy is very gifted, but he's not able to see accuracy. Why? Because he was not trained with some level of high level thinking in terms of mathematics. And, and I, I think that we must also uh, look into that, you know, every level. And, and, and if you are old and you didn't have that, then this is the time to at least ask somebody to teach you something. Because when you want to solve problems, you think of mass. If they don't want you to think, they will say that mathematics is difficult, don't go there. They will say that, oh, just go and cook, just go and entertain, just go and do law, just go and do social science, political science, you know, and so we are producing a lot of the marketing, sales, you know, those are good, but they have their place. The builders must be able to make right decisions and reason and think through problems and that kind of ability, that kind of aptness in, in the mind comes from that training. Sometimes people say, you know, you, the things you say, they are deep. Part of it is because I, I was I was trained with mathematics in mind. You know, part of it is 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 is, is, is part of it is training. Part of it is, is not just the personal training, but even from the education that we had, you know. And so it's good. I could have done some other courses and maybe the gift will be there, maybe the reading will be there, but in terms of precision and consistency and predictability, uh, it will be very difficult. Why? Because then the, the math is for that. And so that, that's why nations that are really structuring, nations that are really creating complex things, you cannot uh, mute the mass. When they are so-called billionaires, you know, if you take the first hundred and see, many of them, especially those who created first generation wealthy people, those who created out of nothing, go and look at the kind of, just look at the kind of education that they had. You will see it. You will see mathematics, you see engineering, you see physics, <laughs> you see them, they are there. Why? Because it's a tool. You know, so once they, they open that to you, you are able to solve a lot of problems. When you come to the others, they will say, oh, they use sports to join there. They use, but even that, those are people who have been uh, managed into, into building wealth. These other guys created their own wealth. But some of them, they say, oh, you're popular. So they monetize that. But some people are behind that. They don't really have the skill to create that wealth. They just have one skill to make a uh, song or to become popular than somebody else. That's why they can drop their wealth in a minute. <laughs> and they are gone. They are taken out. Why? Because the ability to put a lot of these things together, you must have them yourself if you are going to uh, create from nothing. And I'm saying that mathematics education is key. So send your children to school knowing that you are not going to meet the mathematics. Make, make sure that they read it. You have to have part-time courses for them especially pure maths, elective maths at the secondary level. And when they go to the university, even if you are not doing maths or engineering, uh, at least once, once a while, go to those classes if you, are, if you are free. 
that will open your mind and 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 that's where your greatness will come from your greatness will come from especially countries like ghana countries in africa we cannot be silent on high level mathematics education if you're silent we are not going to build we are not going to transform. We are not going to have creative mind, innovative mind. Complex systems are built by such people with such minds. And I'm saying that it's a tool. It's a great tool. The only tool that is that everybody has, you don't need it. Just go and see what you, you know, what you can do and just go and do something. When you're going to school, it's not, we don't just need a lot of lawyers. Though. Even if you are producing lawyers, we need lawyers with mathematics background so that they can build different structures outside the ones that the Europeans left for us. You know, they can sit down and say that this is where we want to go and this is how we have to build it. There's one thing managing what has been built. And it's a whole different thing trying to sit down to build that which works. And I'm saying that if you're not tooled well, you can build. If you're not tooled well, you can build. And mathematics is for building. Uh, it's for reasoning. It's for quality decision making. You know, so it's not just for job. If you want to build complex businesses, if you want to build things with less stress, you must have the capacity, and much of the capacity will come from uh, uh, this mathematics. If you want to be an entrepreneur, for instance, if you want to build without stressing, <laughs> because stress is, is you, you, you are overcome by stress when your strength is low. So a lot of the times you exhaust your energy on little, little things and every energy is, is exhausted, you know. But when you have higher energy, then the difficulties will not be able to break you. And much of the energy will have to come from the mental uh, uh, disposition that you have, you know. And much of it will come from the mathematics. So uh, educate yourself. It is critical, very much important. It's not an option. There are so many things that Africans have made optional. And yet you are looking for solution. This is one of them. It's not an option. It's a must if you want to build. Tell me that which they have built without complex systems and structures. Anything. Whether it's the camera, whether it's the computer, whether it's the house. Anything that they are producing consistently, hmm, predictably, structured. It has to have some uh, precision in mathematics behind it. And so if you produce a lot of people who have no clue of how things are built, <laughs> then they will not be able to build anything. You know, in any society you see high level uh, entertainment and sports, it means that the people are not thinking. And thinkers create, and I'm saying that mathematics is a tool to think. So thank you very much for taking your time uh, to watch uh, this one. Thank you.